we are going to harvest the bags two times. We tried cutting the bags here first and then turning them around, cutting them here. Yeah, so you can see here, we have uh, a lot of our old mushroom bags. They started pinning, a lot of them, all of them almost. So you can see the mushrooms starting to come out. We still need to figure exactly the temperatures and the humidity to make sure that the, we get the really nice caps on them because you see some mushrooms here have a huge cap and then others they are coming in a cluster and we need to figure how to make it uh, more stable in the sense of the quality is the same. But yeah, basically today we are harvesting mushrooms. Uh, I just met here, it's the weekend, and we have some of the mushrooms here starting, the, the mushrooms starting to curl up, as you see here. And I really want to start by harvesting them. And then in the end, we will harvest what else needs to be harvested so we can uh, make the delivery here later today. The cap is turning upward. We really want to harvest them like this stage latest because then they are much better on cool and they have a better, better time to be on the fridge. So they last better in the, in the fridge. So basically what we did was we doubled the amount of uh, grow medium that we use. So this is the old type of bag and uh, new bags with the bigger the, like the twice they are twice as big but they also give like a much bigger cluster and a much higher yield so what we want to do is keep it at least this amount in the in the bags of the grow medium because then we get much more yield from each bag right now we are going with straw and coffee grounds but we want to use straw pellets instead because it's much more dense so that means that we can make the bag just as this but it has twice as much weight so hopefully we can get the clusters to be twice as big from this point when i'm harvesting the the bags i'm just twisting here and then putting them into the these mushroom containers because they have a lot of holes to gain a lot of airflow that uh, our customers like that we don't put them in the boxes that we usually put microgreens in but we put them in these to make sure that uh, there's no mold or any rotting happening on fridge we are going to harvest the bags two times we tried cutting the bags here first and then turning them around cutting them here to hope that the mushroom would pin out from this stage but we figured that it's better to just leave the hole as it is here and then just put them back then within three weeks we will have a new cluster coming out of it and as you see here we started stacking them on multiple layers that means that we can get around 2400 bags inside this room and uh, yeah we're just waiting for these bags to pin we can see some of them are starting, but right now we are just putting it in and then we are making it look uh, like we are getting more system into it in the future. So this is how it looks now. And you can see we have a lot of nice clusters, a lot of pinning happening and a lot of pinning happening at the same time. That means that from now on we can make a much more stable production. So we have these new bags all of this system and as you can see inside here this is how we really want it to be you have nice clusters giving a lot of yield and that's how we want it to be all the way down so this is how far we got so far and uh, yeah follow our content and subscribe to the channel to follow the journey that we are in this container to make it a profitable mushroom growing business